I'm delighted to have Rob McKelvey back in the studio. Thanks for joining us, Rob. My pleasure. Now, today we're going to look at this, um, the, the four-letter F word, fear, and, uh, and what we can do about banishing it. So I know fear mm. is something that, that does affect a number of people running their own business at certain stages. So Absolutely. What, what can we do about it? First thing to do is to acknowledge your fear and address it. Uh, if you try and fight it off and say, oh, I'm not, I'm not really afraid, mm -hmm. it strengthens the fear that is grabbing hold of you. So don't be all macho and push through. Don't, don't be macho. That just you're acknowledge that you have a fear and then try and understand what you're really afraid of. Okay. Most things that people fear are in the mind. Mm. Uh, there's a great quote. Uh, it's called, fear is the dark room where negatives are developed. That's great. Fear is the dark room where negatives are developed. That's very good. So, okay, so the first thing is to acknowledge it. To acknowledge acknowledge kind of, your fear. All right, and then what do we do when we've done that? Change your mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, Sounds easy. You know, it, it, it actually is that easy. Okay. When we are fearful of something, we start to make up a number of things that could happen. Mm. Which when this goes wrong, this will go wrong, and yeah, that will go and, wrong. Oh, God, it's all going to blow up, and yeah. it's a terrible situation, and, and what am I going to do if this happens? And, and there's a lot of if this happens, if that happens. Yeah. Change your mindset and, and think of, rather than the negative things, the positive things that can come out of an action. So just build a completely different story around build, the build thing that's making Build a different story fearful. around it. Don't dwell on the negatives. You can also use positive uh, affirmations or positive speak to get around the, uh, the feeling of fear and say this, you can use any number of things that, that will create a positive feeling rather than a negative feeling. Okay, what, what might just, I'm gonna put you on the spot, what's an example? Okay, uh, this feeling will pass. Okay, oh, okay. I can feel my heart slowing down. Right. Uh, I can handle anything that comes my way. Okay. I'm not really afraid of this, I'm just worried. Okay, so Use you, whatever, whatever you kind of undermine inner the fear. voices. You're, 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 you're banishing it to a little corner somewhere. Oh, okay, good. So what would be your, your final point on this? The next point is to use some relaxation techniques. Mm -hmm. And that can be uh, deep breathing exercises. It can be meditation. Uh, there's one that um, I've used on occasion, which is actually shaking the fear off. Okay physically standing there and shaking and saying, get off me, get off me, okay. you don't belong here. <laughs> do it now. It actually works. It does sounds it? crazy, okay. but it actually works. Mm, I bet it does. And it's all how we look at it from our mindset. Yeah. And There's fear is so often one of those things that when, you, when you're the other side of whatever it is you were fearful of, you look back and you go, what was all that about? Absolutely. Why did I worry about that? Mark Twain said this. He said, I'm an old man who's experienced many terrible things, most of which never happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Rob, on that note, we'll end it. Thank you so much. So we'll push through and banish our fear. Thanks for Pleasure. joining us.